puzzle man I really need better pre-stream chatter hello and welcome to the stream today's pre-stream chatter was me basically saying um, pre-stream chatter so that was not very good okay I uh, have been gone for a few days and uh, you're welcome um, <coughs> Uh, what I'd like to focus on today is uh, Google does not do a great job of, of indexing data, and I think this is intentional. I don't think this is a uh, this is a mistake of some sort, and I'm almost sure it doesn't index GitHub uh, itself, though it might index GitHub Pages, which is a different thing. Uh, and yes, I realize it's Pomodoro time, but of course, since it's we just started, we're going to ignore this Pomodoro. We will do it next time. Uh, that means I get up for two minutes and two seconds to walk around so my brain doesn't I, it really doesn't help any, but I do it anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I actually do have a Google account myself, Carter.Berry, um, and I actually have a place where I can manage my pages. In other words, I can sort of you can sort of tell Google how to index your pages, but uh, within a certain limits. And it'll also tell you how popular your pages are, blah, 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 how, how people get to them. Uh, and a lot of that is free, although, of course, if you want to go into detail, and I'm not trying to make money off of this, um, you would pay them. And presumably that can be very, very useful. Um, realistically, um, I realistically, I you know I don't really care. I want to get the data into Google. So I guess we're going to be doing a couple of things today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to see what kind of data are we talking about. So we're going to show that it's not on Google, which which is fine. Um, we're going to you know you know in theory I could just put it directly onto GitHub Pages, but it turns out Google has some uh, some issues indexing what looks to be a large amount of pure data. You have to break it up a little bit. And I have learned this through previous experience, uh, but I've forgotten it through being stupid. Um, and they might have changed the rules too. And, and again, it's really nice if you can actually see what Google is doing uh, to your pages instead of sort of having to rely on, um, you know, um, you know, rely on basically searching yourself. You can, they can tell you how many people search for it. They might even give you hints on how to improve it. Um, not necessarily. Okay, so what kind of data are we talking about here? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm actually asking. Okay. Um, and this is a really bad. I'm trying to find the biggest files we have in the main directory. Scrabble words, which is not something I did, so I can't can't really do that. Chicken problem. Most of these are not going to be in. Oh well, there's a entire data directory. We should probably look at that. Uh, Sundiff plots mean uh, tweet so. F Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what the hell is this doing here? Um, no, this is apparently my tweets. I don't know why the hell I put it here. There, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, they, they are all public, but that is just weird. Uh, Moonfake, two for the money. Oh, these are a lot of subtitles, by the way, for a lot of different um, movies. Uh, again, these are in my data directory, my GitHub, but I really don't necessarily want to... Um, don't necessarily want to give these. Uh, these are not the things I'm looking to really index. Uh, I guess the biggest example I would have here, and it is dzipped. Oh, here we are. Yeah. I should probably just say dz less. Take a look at it. By the way, I do uh, have something happening between 3 and 4 p.m. my time, which is 10 and 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, which means this might be a short stream, or I might actually have to interrupt the stream. Uh, to do the thing it is I need to do, which I can't tell you about because it is completely evil. So this is my uh, sort of very long um, list of times when the various planets, and I'm using the word planet in the more traditional sense to include the sun and the moon, enter various astrological, not astronomical, astrological constellations, and uh, you know it even tells so it tells you when that happens, what it is, and even if they're entering prograde, which means in the forward direction, or retrograde. Uh, and retrograde doesn't happen for the moon and the sun, it does happen for the other planets. Then over here we have something that's not super interesting, it's the, uh, it's the ephemeris time of the, the, um, uh, uh, the ephemeris time of the, the event occurrence. And over here we just have something that's actually useful to another program that tells us uh, zero, okay, so this is saying the moon has entered constellation B, in the retrograde, in the prograde direction, constellation B is the. I'm using, uh, you know, I'm using binary here. Oh, sorry, using hex here. This would be the. Uh, let's see, zero is the first constellation, so B is the 
12th constellation, which is Pisces. Um, and this two here means the second planet, Venus. The moon is M. I think the sun is S. I think I did it that way. Uh, yeah, I did it that way. So, uh, so anyway, th these are probably not super exciting in the last two fields. Um, and But these fields, you know, you know, and again, this is really going way too far back. Let's see if we can find something that's more um, modern day. Probably not a great idea now that I think about it. In fact, I should probably just use easy grep uh, because this is a um, pretty long, eh, okay, and that's not what I wanted, but you know. So it should actually be spaced. And this is actually going to give us the BC one first, but uh, we can handle that. We're okay with that, man. Uh, and there we go. There's, this is the, uh, there's hopefully more of these, but um, yeah, the flow. Okay, I probably should have, I, I screwed that up. I openly admit that I screwed that up. Okay, so again, this is this can be fairly um, this can be fairly useful. So now, how do we know that Google doesn't? In I don't know that. It's possible that Google is indexing this, so I'm going to look stupid. But I like looking stupid. So let's go over here and do a new Google search for this exact phrase. Not that phrase. Wow, that is a weird looking phrase. Um, moon enters Taurus prograde. And Google should tell us, no, now of course this is all capitalized, this is ugly, but I don't, it should not affect, it should not affect the results, although I'm not sure if Google at some point decided to become case sensitive, because it is, really is, there is a difference between the word polish, meaning something you polish your shoes with, and Polish, which means those really dumb people who live in Europe. I am of course joking, uh, polish is not what you use to, to clean your shoes. Okay. Okay, but again, so this doesn't occur, so in theory, if you type in a phrase that's very exact, you should be seeing, you know, just my page on it. Um, we can add my name to this, my username, and then we can even do it without my username. Um, well, okay, so it does show up something, but again, it's not, it's not really the data we want. Wow, so these are, uh, like, I think my, some of my results. Um, I'm just kind of curious here how the hell I got my name gotten there. Who the hell is this woman and why is she so upset? Ugh, okay. That, that looks kind of creepy. Okay, so what are we going to do here is I don't want to use my existing Google account, although if we have to, I could probably tweak it. So let's try to create a new Google account for this, a new fresh Google account for the stream. Um, we might even name it, well, I won't name it after you. I was going to, but I decided I don't want to. Okay, so, you know, I could just call this Barry Carter, but that's boring. Let's instead go to this site, which sounds really bad. Okay, oh my god. Aaron Farmer. <laughs> I almost want to use that because I love the name Aaron. Um, uh, but because people are nicer to women and I've always wanted to be a girl, let's choose female. Uh, definitely American. Country. Yeah, I think I want to keep it in the U.S. I could, I've always wanted to be British as well, but let's not push that. And I think we're going to say, um, yeah, we're going to probably go for an American, not a Hispanic name. There's nothing wrong with Hispanics. I just don't want to be one, a pretend one. Now, this one I don't like as much. Sherry Yvette. That's a dumb name. Sorry if you, you're named that. Shirley R. McCullum? No. Okay. Okay, apparently all the girls' names. Ooh. Margaret J. Fontaine. So that's who I'm going to be now. Margaret J. Fontaine. And I should... Mm -hmm. We're going to put this down here, but that's really not great. Um, so let's become, now this is, there's going to be some issues here. Um, Margaret Fontaine. Maggie Font. Let's see if Maggie Font's available. That would be a really cool. Ooh. Who knows? Um, and the password all right. Now this is probably uh, this is actually too much of a bad idea to tell you guys what it is. Uh, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to do this somewhere else. 
Uh, I was really tempted to just let you guys know, but then you could hack into the account. Not that it has anything in it, but um, okay. So I have a password generator, which I'm using um, to generate this. And I could, of course, turn off the stream or whatever and just temporarily let you guys see blankness. Uh, but I'm going to be, I'm not going to hit the little thing that says, show me the password. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Notice how clever I am in just saying da, da, da instead of saying letters. Um, more da, da, da. And then the last da, da, da. Okay, let's see if it likes this. God damn it. So Margaret, you know, she's Maggie, she's pretty cool. Now, she could be a fount of knowledge. Let's see if that works. I'm actually surprised that worked. Now here's the problem. Oh, it's optional. That is nice. So how much of this do we actually need to do? Okay. All right. Now we can use a little bit of randomness here to see when old Maggie was born. Um, and I th there is a BC random, and I forget how it works. Come on, seriously? I have an alias called Rand, which doesn't work here. Stand by. Oh, wow. There's li literally no reason this should not be an alias here. So let's go ahead and make it an alias here. Just that this is, again, how you totally break any concept of having um, having a, a proper stream that focuses on one topic is get distracted as much as possible. Um, let's do this here. This, the weird thing here is I'm going to have to reverse engineer this because I don't want to look at the definition. Oh, fudge. Hang on. I can actually cut and paste it into read me stream. Uh, I know, it's a very twisted way of doing things. Uh, and then we just go over here and look at read me stream again. Whoa. That was weird. Oh yeah, because I forgot to save it. Now I'm going to save it. Yes, I really want to edit the buffer here on the other side, and here. Seriously? Alrighty. Alright, we're just going to reload it now. It's getting kind of annoyed. Okay. I've definitely saved it now on the other side. Fucking hell. For some reason we're not it's not picking up my changes. Usually it's very good about this. There we go. So <laughs> it took forever. So Rand is going to be this. Um, between zero and the argument. New no, between one and the given argument, I think. Yeah, I don't know what the hell my, my I don't know what the hell I'm doing, which is so obvious. So now, of course, we need to source in the uh, T file, the T rec file, and I know my private aliases aren't here. That's where this was actually. Let me go ahead and remove it from my private aliases because I know I'm going to forget to do that. Um, and so no, you, I know you can't see this. Move to BC git on this day. Gone. Booyah. So we can easily test to see what this actually does. Uh, Rand 1. Okay, so we, we're not getting any zeros here, which suggests that uh, it is between 1 and the number you put in. Okay, so when should this girl be born? Well, 
Old Maggie was born in October. It was a sad October. Uh, let's see what day she was born on. She was born on October 4th, I, which is, I don't think, a special day in any... Now, for the year, I want to be a little bit more selective. I think Maggie needs to be younger than me because everyone needs to be younger than me. She was not born in this century, though. She's not a millennial. She was born, let's say, in... 1970, between 1970 and 2000. So whether we ran 30, add this to 19, 1983. It's a good year for her to be born. Maggie is, ooh, she could be cusp, but she'll, she'll be female. We're pretty good. Uh, next. Uh, there's a bunch of terms of services here, which we uh, have to uh, agree to. We agree to everything, of course. We always do. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> they actually make you read it. Oh, hang on. Ooh. This is good shit. I think I'm okay with having this character's uh, activity saved, because that would be useful. Ooh, that is creepy. Never save my location history. Yeah, uh, yeah, do that. Ooh, okay. I need to make a note here to myself um, to start checking her email um, because obviously I'm not on this virtual machine uh, all the time, but this is really cool. Okay, so I'm actually happy with this. I am, I'm startled that it worked that easily. Okay, um... So now let's take a look at seeing if we could create, unfortunately I forget what the name of this is. It's like Google Business, Google Pages, Google, it, I don't think it's AdWords. It's related to AdWords, but it is not AdWords. So of all the bajillion services that, uh, that uh, Google um, offers, this is one of them. Jesus Christ. Okay, and I think, um, and I, I know I'm searching my Google account, not all of Google. Um, control how Google indexes my web pages. And we will allow a pop up window for these guys. Um, I think manager on this is kind of. Uh, So I've, I have created a Google account. Um, nope, this is not exactly what I'm looking for. There's a place, and I can go look at it on my other account, because I know I have it on my Barry Carter account. Um, but let's do a general... Um, there's a way you can prove ownership of a site and all that crap. Uh, so let's try doing that. Not quite what I want. Okay, Google Analytics. That this is what we're talking about here. That is the magic name that they use. Hopefully, this will take us directly to it. You can do all sorts of crap with Google Analytics, and we will we will do all sorts of crap with Google Analytics in just a minute. Well, as soon as this page loads. Interesting, my tilt bytes per second dropped to zero there. Um, hopefully this is all showing up. If you can't see this... <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm paranoid. Hang on, I'm going to look at my uh, stream on... Oh, I guess it's fine. And it says excellent. Maybe OBS was just being weird. All right, sorry about that. Let's now start measuring. Um, okay, so my account name will be... I think I'm going to make this one uh, the GitHub Pages one. Um, because we might want to do separate ones for later. Okay. Uh, if you have Google Signals, Jesus Christ. Um, I guess I'm going to stop. Um, 
what do I want to measure? Oops, I want to measure how I can avoid moving my screen around. You can't see it, but I can. It's really annoying. Um, okay, what do I want to measure? Um, measure your website. Okay, that's what apps. Apps. Well, I don't have any apps, so I think I'm okay with just measuring my website. And they call these things properties. Um, and we'll go ahead and call this GitHub pages. And boy, wouldn't it be nice to have a URL here. Let's go ahead and pin this because it's important. We do not need to pin this. Um, so I keep always forget what it is. It's github.io. It's this sucker right here. Um, now the question is, can we do this? I don't. Yeah, I don't think we can quite do that. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can put something at the top level because really I don't like having a sub level for no reason. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing ever, so this may not work. So I think this is BC Git Pages. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, this is going to be n very nasty. I think. <sighs> I could link everything in pages to here, uh, except pages itself, obviously, which would work, but god damn, that is going to be hideous. Because Git, GitHub, and well, Git doesn't understand symbolic links. It's going to create a copy of all that shit. Um, I don't see a really good way of doing this, because I want to keep the URLs I already have. I don't want to necessarily... Um, um, I don't necessarily want to lose those. Uh, so let me go ahead and create. Uh, I have to do it on the other on the other side. Um, oh, this is so bad. Um, well, okay, we're going to cheat as we always do. We're going to create a single uh, GitHub at the very top level. We won't do a hard redirect, but uh, uh, and we're going to use we're going to use the hard name here for the, the pages. The sad thing is, of course, this is actually a um, this is actually itself more mostly an index page. So I'm kind of you know, doing bad things here. But hey, if we didn't do bad things, who would we be as people? Well, good people. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, okay, uh, Pom I'm going to go ahead and skip this Pomodoro too, partly because I know I've got stuff to do in about 40 minutes, uh, maybe. Um, so I don't necessarily, we might just hold off until then. So let's see if I can do, um, I, I'm pushing it on another machine. Um, oh, wow. Hang on. I, ha I haven't even put star. I haven't even fixed the uh, the Git config, um, which I could do from from here, to to exclude. Um, okay. Okay. Hang on one second here. Oh, this could be much worse than it looks. Um. It's possible that, oh shit. Okay, BC Git Pages is the top of my index, is the top of the Git. BC Git Pages, the directory, in other words, let's take a look here real quick. This is just explanatory. This directory does not have a .git file because this is the actual Git directories here. So that was pretty stupid of me to put a, um, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to um, roll with the punches or whatever and just call this slash pages. I'm pretty sure you can fix this um, in GitHub and make it go directly. But you know what? Let's let's see. Now, now we've gotten to, to the point where it's harder to do this in Git than it is to do it in Google. Yes, I said Google in a funny way. Okay, so there we go. Um... Default URL is invalid. Well, that's bad. Oh, because. 
because they have already put the little thingy for me here, and we will go with the secure version. That certainly exists. Industry category. I don't know. I do shit. I'm, I'm going to say education because it, you know, when you look at my stuff, um, you become educated that you shouldn't have been looking at this. Oh, come on. I don't want education, man. Jobs and fucking piece of shit. Astronomy? I doubt it. Hobbies? Ooh, hobbies and leisure is better. I like that. And we will go ahead and set it to Boise time. No, Denver time. The reason Boise and Denver time are different, and Phoenix is with Boise, is because I think Boise doesn't observe daylight time, but we definitely do like Denver does. So let the games begin. Okay. So you first must accept the uh, terms of service, which are no one ever reads them. So there they are. I also want to explain the data processing terms in terms of the GDPR, which doesn't apply to me. Motherfucker. I accept everything. You little shits. Um, nope, that's not good at all. Okay. So now, let's take a look at this. Uh, property settings. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, I've got two notifications here. God damn it. Link a search com... Um, maybe. Okay, we're not going to do that. I mean, I could obviously filter my own address out. Not going to do that. Um... Copy and paste this code as the first item into the head of every web page you want to track. Motherfucker. If you already have a global site tag, just simply add the config line to your existing global. So this is, there's a bunch of stuff you have to do here to basically confirm that you really do own this property. Um, or maybe you don't. Um, th I did the last time I had to do this. That's creepy. So I will turn it on. God damn it. I'm pretty sure you have to edit the pages to some of this shit. Um, yeah. Somewhere in here there is a way you prove that this is actually uh, you. These are your pages. Um, it's also possible I've chosen the wrong thing, and it is not analytics that I want. It is something else entirely. Um, so now I'm, I've got the fe a feeling that maybe this is the wrong thing to be doing. Um, not cool. Not cool at all. Okay. Um, well, okay. The problem is if I go to my Barry Carter site, I still, actually, hang on. I might have, I might have the information somewhere, um, what site to visit, but I don't remember off the top of my head, which is bad. It's really cool once you can, once you have to get it to work, like many things in life. Oh, come on. I'm on another machine, you can't see what I'm doing. Oops, shit. Um Is it AdSense? I mean, that's not really what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, this might be the wrong thing here. Well, that was kind of cool. Oh, let's visit the platform home. That sounds good. Always sounds good. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, hey, you know, you can control how Google indexes your site using robots.txt, which you can. 
Um, but uh, but this is a little bit tighter than that, and it does a little bit more than that. So let's see. Integration center. Uh, this is going nowhere fast. Add integration. Um, I think I'm going further and further away from where I want to be. All right, let's see here. All right, so let's get let's go back to um, whatever Google product is. This the whole Google everything? This yes, it's switch products. Explore more products. I don't think Data Studio is what I want. No. Nope, not what I want. No one in chat to help me. Well, or they're being quiet, which is fine. Um, all right. So we're done with Margaret. Maggie here. We've built her. We built this Maggie on rock and roll. Da, da, da. All right. Where are we going here? We're going for... Nope. Nope. We need to Google, basically. Um... Google Search Console. Ooh. Ooh. Is that where I want to be? Google Search Console. So we totally biffed that one, by the way. Yay. Um... I think it is Barry Carter dot. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure I lost it. That's that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna try to put in the word pages, but it, it might actually complain that this needs to be a domain and it cannot be a. Um, um, oh. So this is this is kind of cool because it does allow this. And then here I can put pages. Well, maybe I'll put the whole thing. I don't know how this thinks of this, but um, oh, maybe I don't, oh, maybe it's only one or the other. Never mind. <laughs> I'm a moron. So I, I'm pretty sure this has to stay under pages because I know that uh, that's where the the. So now this is where we go. Um, upload a Google HTML file to your site, uh, and this is this is this is what I remember doing now. And we'll save this file. Okay, and now we will go over here and put this file into VC Pages, ls minus lat. Hold the downloads. It's the latest file, and I never know what it is, so I just like do this. Google magical code thingy dot. Now, in order to actually push this, I need to go to BC. I need to do the push over here, which I will do. Um, oops. And this is the thing I needed to fix, which I forgot about, um, is the um, ignore in the uh, the ignore uh, information. Um, which I kind of forget how you do that. Oh, get ignore. Okay, that's good. And that one I can probably just copy from BC Git. Let's see if that works. Let's make sure it is the one we want. Wow. No, it's not. The only one I really need is this one. These are Emacs droppings. When Emacs uh, temporarily saves the file, um, it makes temporary copy backup files here, and we don't really need to push those. So now, let's try this again. Uh, nope, still unhappy because it's doing one other thing we need to get rid of. Um, uh, Emacs also puts in little um, 
files like this one, dot hash mark, which mean something. I don't actually know what they mean, but you know, Emacs is Emacs. It can do whatever the hell it wants. Okay, no, still doesn't like it. Stand by. Okay. That should have been ignored, but hang on. Alrighty. Um, these, by the way, are not comments. They're actually literally um, strings in the git ignore, but since they never come up, they're, uh, they're, uh, they never actually, ha they, they have no effect. Uh, so this dot hash star should have gotten rid of the thing that's being ugly right now. Um, oh, I might need to do a git reset because I actually went too far, I think. Uh, hang on one second. Please stand by. So this is going to be a git reset, okay, and then there's there's two files that have this ugly sort of Emacsian piece of shit going on, uh, and since I already sort of, no, 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 okay, hang on, I screwed something up. I did not mean to reset BC Heliacal. There we go. Now, this should not work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and push the git ignore file itself, just to be stupid. Uh, so let's do this. Push, push into George Bush. The current administration, socio-economic, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So now... We should be up there. I don't know how long it takes uh, GitHub to. Uh, oh, damn it. Okay. This is. This is. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I don't have a. Um, so I pushed it. Now, I don't really know how long. Let's go ahead and actually just be really. This is really annoying and really kind of bad for the internet, so that's why we're doing it. Um, let's go ahead and like reload the page until it, it shows up. And it's going to be this. And let's come over here. Hey, your mama. Okay, so it's showing up now. Um, Whoa. Yo, mama. Okay, hang on. Upload the file to here. Am I doing something stupid? I mean, yes. Mm. Do I need this to, like, shit? Do I need this to be like, yeah, no, this is fine. It's doing what exactly what it's telling me to do. Upload to there, this file, full details. Um, potential errors, your verification file was found, has the wrong content. No. This looks pretty good though. Um, let me reload it. Maybe it went away. No, it's right there. Look, it's there. Uh, this is not cool. Unfortunately, I don't know how to look at GitHub pages to, um... Um, okay. Connection to server timed out. Site's domain name, download request for redirected too many times. Um, did not find your domain. No, what would be helpful is if you told me what you did and what happened. Um, I don't know.
don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Let's see if we can do this. Now, of course, this is not going to work either because it's one of those things where, you know, if it doesn't want to work, it's not going to work. Go. Okay. And I guess if we're going to do this, we might as well make the rest of this the body section. I, I'm not a big fan of doing things correctly. All right, let's push this bitch. I said it. Okay, Pomodoro time. I'm going to skip it again because I think this is going to be a short stream. Um, it's, it's interesting I said think as if I don't know how long the stream is going to be, but I think it's going to be a short stream. All right, so now it's still not going to work, but now let's just do a control. Whoa, that didn't work. Reload. Motherfucker. Okay. So maybe the issue is when it checked the first time, it checked before the things happened. Um, and, and now it's going to check, and this time we want to make sure the first check will occur after things happen. So far, not looking good. But also, we're being extremely impatient. Technically, this is index.html, but that's the same thing, right? I mean, if it's not, we're in trouble. Okay, now the Google site verification is there. Now you see it, and now you better still see it. Reload. There it is. Now, this is probably not going to work either, but you know. Um, what the hell? Am, we don't want this. Uh, this is what we want. Let's pin this. Okay. Verify. Cool. That worked. All right. Now let's take a look at this bitch. We've added some new features. Well, you know, presumably I'm a new person, so. Uh, no, I don't want to know. Any well, what? I can't. No, I don't want to know it. Okay. Alrighty. So now we are here in bitchin' mode. Um, okay. So right now, this is going to start off with exactly what we think it is, which is... Uh, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Um, coverage... I want to just see what pages you've... It's, it's already started, by the way. That's how amazing it is. Um, nope. Um, okay, we're getting closer to where we want, but no, I don't want to submit a side map. I just want to kind of get to the like top of this thing. Here we are. Uh, apparently we can't do that. Overview. Let's, but I think we just did that. Um, can I? I can't do anything about that, can I? Well, that's that's nice. That'll fuck me over nicely. I think we just need to make people stop using um, phones as devices. It, it'll never happen, but that would be the better solution to this issue. Um, so let's see, I don't think we're there yet, um, here we go, um, I just want to see what the fuck you've actually done, um, Maybe it's coverage. There we go. And the last time I tried this, it actually showed me stuff right away. I'm gonna do a shift re I'm gonna do a reload here. And one weird thing with uh, GitHub pages, I don't think you can see the logs yourself. I mean, you can probably get some. Um, 
you can probably get uh, some form of logs from GitHub, but um, I'm just saying words at random now. You can get some form of log from GitHub pages, but I don't think you can get the raw logs, which would tell you that uh, that Google was indexing the page. Um, let's actually briefly look into that. Let me do one more reload because I'm fucking paranoid. Uh, the first time I did this with my pages, it just like instantly showed. There's not that many pages here, so I mean it was it was pretty quick. Okay, GitHub pages logs. Oh well, that's that's there. Uh, oh, GitHub provides some native way to track visitors. Wow. Ooh. Well, 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 well. This looks much better than the answer we didn't want. Let's see if there's more better answers. Ooh. Well, let's take a look and see how far this takes us. We want to kick off 2014 with a bang. Okay, so this is obviously... Um, this is the announcement for it. It's not where we actually are, though. Classic. I need to really start bookmarking stuff more. That's introducing it. This is bad that the only thing here doesn't sound like it's going to tell us a lot. Anyone with push access can view its traffic, including full clones, not fetches, visitors for the past 15, 14 days, referring sites and popular content in the traffic graph. Um, is available in public and even in public with GitHub Pro. Okay. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this is actually just. Um, well, let's go ahead and go to this freaking pages. Uh, where the hell is it? BC Git Pages? Uh, I have no idea what my repo is. This should actually tell me, though. Or maybe it won't tell me where it is. Okay, I know where BC Apps is. Do I have that one? Yes, I have that one. I don't know if I have it uh, bookmarked or not. Okay, I should be able to go one step back from here to see all my repos. I am so good looking. Okay, pages. Okay. So now from here, one of these magical buttons will tell me about insights. Um, traffic? Yeah. And I'm not even sure this, this counts. Um, this counts visits to the pages, but rather, um, but rather, uh, you know, Git, GitHub visits, not pages visits. Visits. Okay. Wow. My project sucks. Okay, let's go back over here one more time because we're fucking paranoid. Reload. Okay. Apparently, they're not going as instantaneous as they used to. I think that might be intentional. Um. Okay. So this is good. We've gotten that little uh, person invented. This is not exactly what I wanted. Uh, we will be pushing data here, uh, I guess, just as a test. We can go ahead and and push this large data file uh, over to uh, the GitHub pages and watch because it's not going to get indexed. That is sort of what we want to show. So we might as well, let's see. Um, and we might as well go crazy and create an actual uh, 
subdirectory for it. Uh, okay. How big is this thing? It might be too. B oh fucking hell! Sixty-three million bytes. Fucking hell! How much space do I have on here? Okay, c I can probably do this, but motherfucker. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to push this kit as is. So that's 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 a different problem. I'm going to try in just a minute, but it's going to tell me that you can't push a file this large uh, to GitHub. Assuming I can de-unzip it at all. So this is, motherfucker, 430 megabytes. And now I'm going to be obnoxious and move, change it to BC houses because one day someone's going to look at it and say, hey, um, who, who did this? Okay, let's try this now. And I expect I'm doing this on another machine. You can't see it, but I expect it to fail. Um, okay, so I can push it to my own Git, but I doubt I can push it to... Hmm. This is weird. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, this stream's gonna have to be a little bit short. I'm gonna have to end it now because I have been informed by text message that thingies are happening now. So we will continue with this later, maybe unless I die or get bored. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.